Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, good day again, grade 12 So, for today, we will be answering sample problems regarding ellipses Okay, so firstly, before we go there, um, take a note of this following These are the coordinates for our center, foci, vertex, and co-vertices Depending on whether it is um, on the origin, the center is at origin Or, of course, it's not on the origin, which is, of course, HK Okay this one is a little bit complicated, but this one is uh, a precise way of answering uh, or graphing your given um, ellipses. Okay? And also, we will be, you must remember the following property wherein A is greater than, always greater than B, and that C is equal to the square root of A squared minus B squared. Okay? So, as, as I've said before in the videos, um, we will not deal mainly with the theoretical approach to paano na, how these things are uh, gained okay so sige uh, take a snap for a while and you can just pause the video okay so let's proceed with the given examples okay so firstly is how we graph our um, ellipsis if we are given the equation okay so um, let's start first with a, an easy equation in our given would be this one and this given equation is very obvious what formula we are going to use okay again on this given video it's very obvious on what formula we are going to use so we have x plus 3 squared well, let's let's change it to at least very easier so it's x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 equals to 1 okay so in this case you will notice that as, as i've said before that a must be always greater than b okay so to, for you to determine which is a and which is b you just have to look at the numbers at the bottom okay and you ask yourself which one which one is bigger is it 25 or 9 so obviously it's 25 therefore we can assume that our a is 25 and our b is equal to 9 but then again the value for that is just simply yung square okay if you will notice here a squared yeah so therefore it's not exactly a it's just a squared and this is b squared okay and for us to determine um for us to graph what we need to find is a and not a squared so for us to get a we just simply have to get the square root of this one and the square root of 25 is just simply 5 and the square root of 9 is just simply 3. So we have our A and B. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is we need to find our C. And the value of C is simply attained by using this one. Okay. So C is equal to A squared minus B squared. So for us to get C, we need to get the square root of 25 minus 9. Okay. And 25 minus 9 is just simply 16 c is equals to 16 okay and we need to get the square root of that because then again we have the square root sign so that's square root of 16 and basically square root of 16 is just simply yung ating um uh, principal root is just simply 4 so we have the values of our a b and c's if you have those following then we can now find ano ba yung values ng ating um center foci um, vertices and our cover vertices so let's go back itong figure natin ito, itong equation this our equation here is very similar to the very first equation provided which is this one uh, sabi daw dyan your x your a is greater than b therefore we can assume that this is your a and this is b and similar to that formula meaning our given will have a graph of on the center and it's a horizontal ellipsis. Na medyo nakahiya siya. Okay? So, not necessarily called horizontal ellipsis. Okay? I'm just um, naming it for you. Okay? So, knowing that, we go here. Ito yung gagamit. This is the um, value that we will be using. Okay? The coordinates for our center, foci, vertex, and co -vertices. Okay? But without looking at that, because I don't want you to rely on this one because it's too much. Just have to picture your figure. Okay? Knowing that it's a horizontal ellipsis and it starts on the center, of course your center 
would be always at 0, 0. Okay? Then, we go to the foci. Sorry, it's not equals. I simply C and 0, 0. And our foci, dalawa yan. We have foci 1 and we have foci focus 2. Okay? And our focus, remember, is just simply located here. Okay? It's on the horizontal axis. Meaning on that given, the value of x will change. Not y, but simply x. So x, x is the only value that changes here. And we remember that foci will have a unit distance of c. Okay? So we will refer, of course, with c. So yung x natin, our center will move C units to the left and C units to the right. I mean, sorry, C units to the right and C units to the left. Okay? So, meaning our x, our center here, the y will not change, but the x value will change. It will have a plus and minus C. So, plus C, oops, sorry, and minus C. And that is our foci without referring to our, um, yung binigay ko kanina. Okay, next we have our vertices. Our vertices will have two again. Okay, our vertices will have vertex 1 and vertex 2. And of course, our value for the y does not change. So it's always 0. Or it's the same all throughout. Okay, and of course, our vertex will refer to our center. But will refer again to the value of A. Because I've told you before that the distance between the vertex... And the center is just simply okay, I'll write it down. It's just simply a unit. So you will look at here. So A. So it's A units to the left and A units to the right. Okay. A units to the left and right. And to the left, it's always plus. So 0 plus 5 is just simply 5. And 0 minus 5, it's negative 5. So, so it's just simply adding doon sa center. So, remember, our base is always the center. So, either plus or minus, okay? And our um, cover, this says we have two as well. Sorry. We have two as well. So, what would happen here is instead of changing our y-axis, uh, our x-axis on the cover, this says what changes is the y-axis. Kasi ito yan. See here on the figure. Ito yan. Ito yung cover, this says it's B units. So, meaning, yung, A nyo, yung center nyo, again, our point of reference, the x will not change. But what will change is your y. And b, then b units up, and b units down. And this would be your coordinates for your given ellipses. And of course, you just simply have to plot them, and of course, create a ellipsis for you to be able to graph fully your given. Okay, so I will leave the graphing to you because of course it's just simply plotting of points. Okay, I hope you got that. So let's have another example. So say we have um, something uh, different. So say we have x plus 3. Yeah. x plus 3 squared over um, Plus 16 plus y minus 5 squared over 49 equals to 1. Okay, so this figure will um, give you a hint which one, which figure we are going to use. Okay, so obviously you have a value beside x and y. Therefore, you will use your um, center not at the origin meaning yung may h and k okay so the very first thing that we need to identify here is alin ba siya dun sa dalawa whether is it a is it a horizontal or is it a vertical okay so magiging siyang vertical if and only if yung a is with y and it will become a horizontal value if it's if the a is with x and of course you have to remember the value of a is always greater than b so you will check here okay which one is bigger, 49 or 16? So, it's obviously this one. So, therefore, this is your A. And where is your A? Your A is with Y. So, meaning, if you if your figure is 
horizontal x is with a but if, you, if your figure is vertical y is with a so therefore ito yung figure this is your figure okay so knowing that the figure is actually a vertical ellipsis what would happen here is of course the um it's your understanding whether which value for the vertex sorry for the vertex and your um, foci and the covertices values will change. Kung ano ba yung mag dun, okay? So, let's proceed with the given. So, in any given H and K, um, not at the origin center, the very first thing that you have to do is you have to identify where is your center, okay? So, center is just simply... The, um, attained by just simply of course getting the reverse value of this one so if that is that is 3 it becomes negative 3 and this one is positive 5 okay the next thing that you have to get is the value values of your a b and c okay the value for a here is just simply the square root of 49 which is 7 and the value of b is just simply the square root of 16 which is 4 and c is attained by getting the um, square root of the difference of 49 and 16. And what is the value for that? 49 minus 16. Let me get my calculator. So I can solve for this one. Weirdly. Right, so it's um, 49 minus 16. So it's just simply C, oops, sorry. C equals to the square root of 33. Um, of course, wala naman, there's no um, exact value for the square root of 33. So, we will leave it as is. Okay? So, ganyan na muna yan. Of course, the next thing that we have to do is we need to get our, meron na tayong center, good. We need to get our foci, F1, and F2. We need to get our vertex and cover this is. so una nat una natin kukunin is the foci remember your given is a vertical um it's a vertical ellipsis meaning your foci will be located here so meaning the foci value will depend on the y axis so the x axis will not change but the foci value for y will change so, ano ba yung y? It's 5. So, it's either, again, the foci will rely on the C. Foci. This is um, your, um, B is for your um, covertices. And your A is for your vertex. Okay? So, foci is square root of 33. Therefore, again, yung y-axis mo would be square root of 33 units up and square root of 33 units down. So you will have 5 plus square root of 33 and you will have 5 minus square root of 33. And you will have also your vertices. Sorry. Vertices that is reliant on y. Okay? So meaning the value of x will not change. But the y will change. And our y is 5, positive 5, Therefore, you will um, you will use 7, yung A natin. Okay? So, 7 plus 5 is 12. And 5, uh, negative 7 plus 5, the answer is negative 2. Anong ginagawa? You just simply add the Y values. And then our, um, the last one is our cover thesis. Okay, and our covertices will have the following properties. The value for the x is the one that is changing. X kasi magbabago dyan. So, meaning the y will stay the same. Kasi yung y natin is 5, therefore it's retained as 5. And our covertices will um, rely on the x-axis and also on this one, the value for v, b. And that is plus 4 and minus 4. So, negative 3 plus 4 is 1 negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. You have all your center, the foci, the vertex, and our covertices. So therefore, you can grab, uh, graph your given. Okay? 
So let's have another example. Um, say we have let's have our last ha, have our last example. Okay. Say we have um, x minus seven squared all over sixty four plus y plus two squared over thirty six is equals to one. So what do we do? Act, what do we actually do here? Ang ginagawa lang natin dito is we identify ano ba firstly ano what is the um, general form that we will use so there are four general forms and for you to identify that kapag may value ng hk doon ka na lang sa dalawa which is of course not at the origin and you have to determine which is your a and your a is here this one bakit a yan yung a niyo kasi it's 64 and it's greater than 36 so x is with a therefore your figure is horizontal so again how do we determine whether ano bang gagamitin nyo is it on the center vertical or horizontal center or is it horizontal not on the center and horizontal uh, vertical not on the center okay so which one will you use so itong this the first one and the second one will have um, no h and k meaning it has no value here okay but since this given has a value here this one is here this is you will not use this but you will use this okay this one you will use if and only if your x is over a this one you will use if your y is over a okay so knowing that okay let's just go back a little bit so this one is definitely x over a therefore you will use the horizontal values okay horizontal not on the origin values okay the first thing we determine what is our center sorry the center is at 7 and negative 2 how do did we get that just simply reverse the values uh, the signs of the following okay next we will find our foci And to get the foci, we need to get the values of a, b, and c. Our a is just simply the square root of 64, that is 8. Our b is the square root of 36, that is, of course, 6. And our c is just simply the square root of 64 minus 36. And 64 minus 36 is just simply 28. And the square root of 28, do we have a value for that? Of course, none. Or by simplification, this is 4 square root of 7. Uh, for a while. Um, it's 2, sorry. It's 2. Because 28 is equals to 7 times 4. And this is just simply 2 square root of 7. You, nilabas mo to. You put it out. Okay? So this is our C. It's 2 square root of 7. So we find the focus by just simply relying on the value of C and at the same time since this one is horizontal by relying on the values of X. Okay, kasi horizontal, yun yung focus. Pag focus and vertex na horizontal, we change the values of X. So meaning the values of Y will be retained. And the values of X will just simply be 7 plus... 2 square root of 7 and we have 7 minus 2 square root of 7 okay I'm not quite strict when it comes to square root because of course it's a little bit hard for you guys to manipulate the values of square roots because especially when a, when a given has no integral square root values so it's a bit not whole number okay go next we go to the vertices again since the vertices here are not um, are reliant to x values therefore our y's will not be changed okay so we change the values of our x we take 7 and our vertices will rely on a so it's 7 plus 8 the answer is um, what's the answer here? it's 14 and 7 uh, 8 minus uh, 7 minus 8 the answer is negative 1 
Okay? So, ang ga again, ito ang ginagawa natin. We rely always on the center. So, we either add these following values. Add or subtract the following values. Okay? Oops. Okay. Next one, we have our co-vertices. Okay? Our co-vertices will now rely on the value of y. So, the values of x will not change. Okay? And our co-vertices, of course, is for b. So, we add and subtract 6. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. And negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. So, we have the following coordinates. Then, therefore, we can plot our given. Okay? So, these examples are uh, no, um, the basis. Meaning, you have to master this following um, means of determining your center, foci, vertex, and co-vertices before we actually proceed with the ones that needs algebraic manipulation. Okay? So, after this video, you will have a short evaluation. Okay? You will pass to me as, you will pass to me um, a quiz. Okay? In picture format. So that you will be able to um, uh, fully understand how to graph an ellipsis okay based on the given general equation or the general form okay so thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh